but uh, I think that those kinds of thoughts are good for you, expanding your mind. Like mm. how many, you know, how many angels can dance on the end of a pen? This seems like a stupid question, but you know, thinking about these things is actually sort of the medieval way of contemplating the same sorts of questions. Like they talked about whether the soul could be represented in a number. And that's sort of the question of like, could you upload your mind to a computer in bits? Mm. It's the same question, mm. but it was the medieval version. And people were, you know, killing each other over these questions, mm. yeah. literally in the Middle Ages. But yeah. um, where am I going with this? Uh, well, I think that the substrate, you know, I'm really fond of fields. Um, I really mm. approach physics from a logical positivist standpoint in that I only think that we can talk in physics about what we can measure, which is kind right. of a boring, it's kind of a so, boring. So, so for you, in some way, physics can't give us metaphysical um, insights then? Right. I mean, here's why. Because everything that we do in physics is we take a measurement of something, which means mm. you're comparing something to your ruler. And then mm. that's just a ratio. And so you're just getting these ratios of one measured property to another and seeing mm. how they relate and you really don't know much about what they are like mm. what's charge what's mass why does mass have a certain feeling like as weight you know which is multiplied by mass the force of gravity and so mm. like um so why <laughs> so the question is like what are we really talking about when we talk about charge like these things are just things that we we put in a measurement box and we look at them and we try to measure some kind of extent somehow so mm. like we're just relating one measured property to another measured property and the properties are properties of something mm. feasibly maybe but what we're really working with is constantly relata and so i think that physics is really kind of like explanation in science more broadly mm. is sort of a relational structuralism where we're comparing measurements of measured things to one another and even and you know I'm not saying that like Jane Goodall watching the chimps isn't science, but you know, she's still thinking about like, well, when the chimps eat food, they behave a certain way. You know, that's relating one variable to another variable in some degree. And psychology is sort of the same thing. Mm. 